Hey everybody, this is Ben with Anglers All um, here in the tying studio. Uh, today we're going to be tying a Dalai Lama for you. And let's just get right into it. I'm um, starting with a hook size 6 B10S stinger hook from Gamakatsu. Uh, this is the size that we have in our bins, so I figured that's the best way to start. I'm going to be using a 6 aught uni black thread. Uh, we're going to start, give us a little space right behind the eye of the hook, about two, two eyes worth, and tie back to the bend in the hook. There we are. Go ahead and trim your tag. Next, I'm going to be using a rabbit zonker strip magnum size from Wopsy, and it's going to be in a black. Make sure we've got the fibers facing backwards, not forwards. And we want to tie in right at the bend of the hook, just about an inch and a half worth of tail, about like so. And tie that in. Couple really tight secure wraps here to get that tied in these rabbit strips tend to like to to spin on you if you don't get them really tightened down this uh this particular fly was designed for steelhead and dolly vardens up in alaska uh, so it was originally meant for fish other than trout but it has since been adopted by specifically people that tend to try and, as they call, headhunt or search for bigger rainbows and browns and fish of that sort. So what I'm doing here is just tying back up towards the front of the hook, towards the eye. Stop right about where I started tying in. And we're just going to go ahead, pull this magnum rabbit strip forward separate our hairs a lot of times i'll use a bodkin to do that when i'm feeling really picky and we're just gonna tie the rabbit strip in right here i usually do one loose wrap so it allows that rabbit strip to actually wrap around the shank of the hook instead of just pinching it to it. A couple more good secure wraps here. Pull your rabbit strip back. And a couple more wraps towards the eye. And then we're gonna tie this tie this off. couple lip finishes here trim your thread off so now that we're done tying the rabbit strip into the trailer hook I'm gonna use some backing here which is gel spun it's a lot stronger more abrasion resistant then mono or Dacron backing, anything like that. So what I'm doing, I'm making a loop through the eye of the hook. Now what I need to do is pull the rabbit strip back through this loop to get it out of the way so I can get this loop all the way over the back of the hook. Just pop it out of the vise here real quick. See, I'm just getting it back all the way around the hook like so stick it back in the vise and what that does is kind of like a loop-to-loop -loop connection 
Uh, next step is to pull this trailer hook out of the vise. Set that off to the side. What I'm going to use next is a size 2 B10S stinger hook for the shank. We're going to end up cutting the hook off of this one in the end. Another thing I'm going to use before we start tying any materials on is Black Nickel Montana Fly Company cone heads. This particular size is 3.8 millimeter or 5 30 seconds of an inch. This is one of the bigger cones that you can find. And on our hook here, just Roll that over the top, stick her back in the vise. Still using the 6 aught black uni thread. Go ahead and tie in, make wraps all the way to the back of the hook, right at the bend. Alright, so we're wrapping to the Bend in the hook, and then I'm wrapping a little bit forward, maybe a quarter inch, a little, little more than that. Next thing, we're taking our trailer hook and our rabbit strip, and in this case, the gel spun backing, and we're going to attach the backing to the top of the shank of the front hook, like so. And then from there, you can adjust how short or how long you want that fly to be. So we're going to make this one a little bit longer. There we are. Now, just wrapping forward, making sure you really secure whatever it is that you're using for your articulated trailer hook. Making sure you get that really well tied down. What I'm going to do Let's take these tags and go through the cone up front. Oh, that one slipped out. Like so. I'm going to go through the eye of the hook. And then back through the cone. One thing I have had a few difficulties with in, in the process of tying this with this gel spun backing, you can see a lot of times the edges will fray and it's hard to get it to go back through this cone head. One, one s simple technique that I've learned is even just to get your fingers wet, try and hold all that together. That way you lose the fact that it's frayed and then you can push it through. Alright, now that we've got our backing attached, uh, again we pushed it through the top of the, the shank, through the cone, down through the eye of the hook, and back through the cone. Now you can see my tag ends are down here on the bottom of the shank. Now we're just gonna wrap backwards and secure those in. It just helps to make sure that your fly is very sturdy in that attachment. We'll wrap back to the bend of the hook again. A little bit forward as well and then we're going to pull our rabbit strip forward and attach it to our thread point. At this point you want to make sure that you don't have your rabbit strip too tight or your backing too loose. You want your rabbit strip to be a little bit looser than your backing. See how I don't have too much slack there but it's just enough. Go ahead and wet my fingers and pull these hairs forward to keep them out of the way while I'm doing securing wraps here. Again really wanting to make sure that you get real good secure thread wraps here, real tight wraps. Pull your rabbit strip back. Go 
go ahead and tie your thread all the way back up to the cone. Now what we're going to do is palmer our rabbit strip. And as we're doing that, I pull all these materials back so you don't get them wrapping up and over themselves. Don't need to wrap too many wraps. You don't need it to be super thick. You almost kind of want it to be a little bit thinner. Get up to the cone, and when I feel like I'm to the cone, I do another good solid wrap. Gonna pull some of these hairs out of the way so we can secure a rabbit strip in nice and nice and tight here. Do three or four securing wraps and then trim that. Now what I do here is I take my bodkin and push that leather strip back up inside that cone. Do a couple more securing wraps. All right, next step, now that you've got that all palmered, is to tie in, we're going with an olive magnum strip. You can obviously use many different colors, especially if you're fishing this fly for steelhead, pink and purple seems to be a pretty common color combination. What I'm going to do with this bottom strip, this is going to be the belly of your fly, is I want to make the strip go right about to the tip of your rear trailer hook. As you can see, that will kind of make the belly of the fly and still gives your tail plenty of room to, to show that, that taper, if you will. So I'm going to turn the fly over here, tie this rabbit strip in on the bottom. Again, three, four, maybe even five good, good securing wraps here to get that in. Go ahead and trim that. Now we're doing the same thing, just getting this leather strip back up and inside the cone head. And I always try and leave a good little extra strip when I trim it. That way you have plenty to push in and you're not leaving yourself with just a tiny little tag when you're completely tying this strip in after you get that leather pushed up under the cone head. There we go. Got all that leather pushed up underneath the cone head. Do a couple more securing wraps here, trying to stay as close to that cone head as we can. Next thing to tie in is going to be saltwater flash boo, considering this was originally a steelhead pattern. That's why it calls for the saltwater. And I'm just going to trim one piece of flash boo off at a time. What I do that seems to be easier for me, I just wrap that flash boo around the thread once and then tie her in. Real easy way to get flash boo in there. Grab another piece. This 
Same thing, wrap that in, pull it up to where you want it, and tie her in. Now at this point you're just doing a couple more securing wraps and tying her off. Go ahead and whip finish. There you are, you've got a completed Dalai Lama. I'll go ahead and trim my flash here. I usually trim it to about the length of the belly. So you don't have those really, really long pieces of flash boo that can get wrapped around your trailer hook. So now that we're done with this particular fly, uh, the original tire, JJ Pilgreen, actually trimmed this front sh hook so he's only using the shank like so or trim that hook off of the front there's a lot of things you can do with this particular fly you can obviously change the colors you can throw rubber legs in instead of flash you can make it longer or shorter uh, lots of different variations to this particular fly yeah, again, I'm Ben Baxter. Uh, thanks for following me on this tie, uh, the Dalai Lama fly. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube and follow us on Vimeo.